Is it today that I said I'm giving the test? Janelle? Johnson, Miss Johnson, is it today that I'm giving the test? Hello? Is it today that I said I'm giving the test? No, sir, it's Wednesday, sir. Okay, good. All right, when more persons join, we, we start, okay? So, can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead. Sir, sir, I'm having difficulty with this topic. Okay. Did you show me anything in the class? Sorry, I, it mostly um, group work um, with Robert Apple, let's practice on something, so. I want to do something and send over the weekend. Did you do that? Go again, sir. I told you to try something and send over the weekend. Did you do that? All right, sir. For that one, I wasn't seeing it until this morning because I was having an issue with my canvas. Miss Johnson, the ball is in your court, Miss Johnson. That was your opportunity to get some assistance. All right. So when mm -hmm. we begin, um, let's begin at about 5.15, allow some more persons to join the class. All right, I'm trying to finish a report quickly to send off to the, the vice principal. So I need at least 10 minutes and more persons are joining. So give me some time.
All right, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Are you guys hearing me? Good evening, sir. Oh, even there. Yes, even yes. Now you're... All right, hold on. Let me just claim host quickly. Um, this is where is it again? Okay, it's All right, so you know that your, your mid semester is on Wednesday. All right, your mid semester is on Wednesday. Um, I hear people saying that they have concerns and they're having challenges. And I did tell some people to send you some passage for you to practice. The problem is that when we are doing certain things in the class, people don't want to talk and they don't share screen and we don't go through their papers. And when it's close to exam, everybody's panicking. All right, you do that at your own risk. When we are sharing in the class, you need to participate. That's what you need to do. And if you don't understand, you ask questions. You don't wait until you're near to the exam, then everybody getting very jittery. All right, and it's actually, um, you have practiced this thing. So today will be for one hour or so, we'll kind of go through it, but we need to move on. All right, we can't be consumed by just one component of the course. Okay, um, anybody wants to share screen? Anything that it did? I think I sent two passages for you guys to review. Uh, the entire room is silent. Should I take that as a no? We don't want to review. Are, are there any questions in relation to the mid-semester exam? So, good evening, you and I see here. Wasn't that the last class, sir? Um, was there any information that was given to at least say what the media exam would be like, sir? And my question to you is Did you watch the recording? Yes, sir. I listened to um, I was listening, listening to it, sir, but it doesn't give me. A complete, there was a time when it seems as if you put us in breakout rooms, sir, and then after that, I could not hear anything and then the recording finished. I don't know that anything, you would have missed anything. Anything that is on the recording is what was said in the class. We never had any secret meeting um, discussing the exam. So whatever is there on the recording, that is what is said. That was That is what was said in the class. I don't know if you have any specific questions about the exam. Sir, what type of exam would it be, sir? What format would the exam take, sir? Like, for yeah. instance, um, the course writing analysis and um, that that we discussed in class. Yes, um, you're going to be given, um, you're doing the paper in one hour, you're going to be given a passage and then you're going to be asked to write um, a discourse analysis on the, based on the passage, commenting on language techniques, three language techniques, three language strategies. And the expectation is that you're going to include audience, um, discourse mode, uh, main idea and purpose, as is what is discussed in the class. Sir, would it be during our class time, sir, or the portal will be open on different hours? No, no, it's going to be done only during class time. Okay, then, sir. Thanks. Okay, any other question? Good evening. Mm -hmm. So, sir, I was um, attempting to do the article on no Beijing bird nest. Mm -hmm. And I came up on, I was up on some challenges as relates to the main point and the purpose. I had a difficulty in regards so it seems that they were overlapping from where I was seeing it. I couldn't differentiate to say because what I had, I felt upon myself 
repeating the purpose for the for the main point. Okay. Um, can anybody assist her in terms of what, how do we make a distinction between the purpose and the main point? Does anyone know how to make that distinction? Yes, sir. Uh, let me give it a try. So I believe the, the purpose of whatever you're reading is you know, to either convey information you know, to, you know, to expose or to explain whatever material there is, you know, that will be the purpose of it. And the, you know, the main cause, that's the second point you said? Main yeah. point. You know, sir, the main point now would be the issue that is being faced, all right? So the issue that is being faced would be the main point. Right? The issue that is being, you know, right about is the main point. Tell me how that sounds, sir. Okay, I'm listening. Anybody else wants to make an attempt? Um, do I, let's see what I have here. Um, the purpose, the main, the purpose would be like to inform, explain or tell Right. Or convince, pursue, or to entertain, or amuse, or divert. That would be um the main the purpose, and the main point would be like um, well, uh, it's more likely by having is that, and try not to use verb like tell, show, inform, or bring across. Right. All right, so let, let's just, let me just explain it this way, okay? So this is the main idea, right? How do you get the writer's main idea? You answer two questions. Who or what the passage is about, right? And what is the passage saying about this thing or person? So you answer this question first. Then you answer this question. So if you say the passage is about um, Jamaicans participating in, in the Olympics, then you say, what is the passage saying about Jamaicans participating in the Olympics? So you might say the writer's main idea is that Jamaicans who participate in the Olympics are better at winning gold medals than their counterparts in other parts of the Caribbean. So the who or the what is the overall, which one did you say look at? That, that same passage with the, with, um, you saying, you saying both? Right. Okay. All right. Um, so let's discuss this before we go to the passage, right? Then the purpose now is why it why was it why was let me put it this way why was the passage written that's one and what does the writer hope to accomplish so this part the purpose answers this question as well as this question. So notice they are not the same things. The main idea is not answering the same question as the purpose. And remember, I gave you a lecture, a slide talking about the different verbs that you can use to talk about purpose. Yes. All right, for example, inform, convince, mm -hmm. but these are not the only ones. That's what I want people to understand. These are not the only ones. Um, let's look at the passage itself. Let's look at the passages. Anybody did this passage or attempt to do this passage? There you go. Persons are preparing for the exam, but they are not trying the passages. I don't understand. So this is the passage. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to read the passage. Let me, it's very short, actually. So let me give you five or so minutes to read the passage, okay? It was sent to you via email, so please read it. Okay. Do I need to... 
Should I share it in the WhatsApp group as well? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay, can somebody say hi in the WhatsApp group? Because I, I, sometimes I can't remember which group is which. All right, mute your mic for me, please. Somebody with a dog barking in the background. Document.
All right, so let's look at the article. Where is it? I just had it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Tony Shea, Harris, are you there? Tony Shea, Harris, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. So I'm actually on the road. Oh, you're on the road, okay. Yes, sir. All right, mute your mic for me, please. Uh, Carla Buckle, could you read the article for me, please? Go ahead. The University of the West Indies, UWI, community across the region and in our diaspora beyond, stood at the finish line to welcome Dr. Bowles, the place he made his very own. It's a global space he has domesticated for his Caribbean folk who forbade, who, sorry, who foretold that no Beijing bird nest would contain the flight of the pelican. There is in, there in, sorry, could, sir, could you just, let me just, because you can read from your it. phone, you know, you can read it from your phone because it's in the WhatsApp group. Okay. But we need to hear you though. I'm, I'm getting the phone. I'm coming, so I'm going to download on my desktop because I'm going to still have some issues with the phone. So just give me a minute, please. The University of the West Indies, UWI community across the region and in our many diasporas beyond stood at the finish line to welcome Dr. Bolt to the place he made his very own. His own global space he has domesticated for his Caribbean folk who foretold that no virgin bird nest could contain the flight of the pelican. There is in his victory no more than a common constant of physical captivity there is a passionate psychological expression of self-confidence and native belief that again and again he arises from within. It is flashing across the finish line, the bold message, if we are going to build a sustainable, resilient economics and societies in the Caribbean, we must begin with self-confidence and end with self-belief. Every child in the Caribbean world begin with Jamaica and ending wherever Dr. Bolt has touched with his ancestral magic and gift from God. Now knows the truth that our people have been through the hottest fires of hell, like the Jewish boys of biblical times, were, were not burned to ashes, and rather are rising, from, rising daily from them. Dr. Bowles' performance before the world that admires his universal humanity, African, amability, Caribbean sensibility, and Jamaican savvy is testimony also to another truth that within our Caribbean culture space and Caribbean culture space are solutions to change, to change is no matter how testing.
are you when finished? I, no, sir. Sorry. When I visited him at Sir Frank Worrell's um, playing field at Mona a few months ago and witnessed his training, it became clear to me that here within our university's art was a hero who believes in indigenous power of our academic. I found in his spirit so humble and historic, majestic and moment, sorry, momental, so completely resistible yet responsible. Such a spirit, I thought, cannot be ordained by our, by our ordinary obligation. Before every race, he points his finger in the direction, in the right direction, and indicate that he still is intentionalized. I commended him for knowing that there will never be any need for him to run to America Academy in order to discover how, the, how to contain Mr. Gaffin and others of his ilk. Dr. Mills, his mind manager, agreed and said that Mona Ball contains all the sane needed to drink with these, my cup run it over. It is for these revolutionary reasons that university community at the Cave Hill campus in Barbados rose to the heights to pick up both when it named its spanky new sports complex in its honor. Across the university, we stand as one with, unity, with the number one. President Barack Obama must have had a glimpse into the future when he spoke to Dr. Booth at UWI. Before he understand, maybe he understood as he looks into his eyes that the biggest US made Kathleen gun is no match for Jamaican Thunderbolts, maybe. Walk good back home, Dr. Booth, and rest your weary legs in the foothills of the Blue Mountains until you are called upon to return to Mount Olympus. Again, we shall be there to welcome you over the line to a place that is now your very own. All right, thank you very much. So, so the first question I'll ask is who or what the passage is about? Dr. Usain Bolt, sir. So the passage is about Dr. Usain Bolt, right? Yes, sir. And what is the passage saying about Dr. Usain Bolt? Sir, about the stuff that the mirror, like, um, the stuff that he bring forward and show how Jamaican people um are being treated are. What stuff? Sir, um, in the third passage when it stated that um Dr. In the Bo third passage or in the third paragraph? Paragraph, sir. Sir, when mm -hmm. it stated that every child in the Caribbean world, beginning with Jamaica, and ending wherever Dr. Bowl has touched with his ancestral magic and gift of God. No. Don't read to me. I can read. I'm asking you to tell me what is the passage saying about you, um, Dr. Usain Bolt. And this is a question for everybody. This is how you get the main idea. So yes, the passage is about Usain Bolt, Dr. Usain Bolt, but what is it saying about Usain Bolt? So anytime you tell me the what, that's when you get the main idea. Let's move on. Sir, Anybody? Yes, go ahead. What? Um, speaking about um the where it says it's a global space. Stop reading from the passage. I can read. Okay. Please tell me what you what you think the the, the passage is saying about you saying what. Because if you're quoting an exam, I'm going to give you zero. Do not quote from the passage at no point, unless you're giving okay. like examples, but not for the main idea and not for the purpose. Those things are supposed to come from your own thoughts and ideas. All right, so we're not sure what the main idea is. The accomplishment of him. So the passage is about the accomplishments of Usain Bolt. Yes, sir. In Japan. So how do we put that in sentence form? So the writer's main idea is that 
Over. Is that? Mm -hmm. I'm listening. There are several You sound muffled. I'm not hearing you so clearly. Sir, the, yes. there are several. Um, there are several accomplishments that was achieved by Doctor Usain Bolt. Sir. Okay, that's one thought. Anybody else? I heard that, sir. I have a confession to make. Go ahead. When I when I when I attempted the, the um to do the essay early um over the weekend, I thought I think that I, obviously I, I'm thinking that I went too deep from where I was analyzing from my um, perspective. Because I was thinking that it was more about um the um the Caribbean people uniting as one in order to, be, to build a sustainable economy, instead of looking at it from that perspective of Usain Bolt as an individual. But the article is about Usain Bolt. In almost every paragraph, his name is repeated. In the first paragraph, it says Usain Bolt. In the third paragraph, it says Usain Bolt. In the fourth paragraph, it says Usain Bolt. Um, in the following paragraph, he speaks about Usain Bolt. I commended him, Usain Bolt, big up Bolt, President Barack Obama talking to him. And then he says, walk, go back home, Dr. Usain Bolt, and you wear your legs in the footage of the, until you are called upon to return to him. I don't understand. How would you reach so far? That's a clear, that's a misinterpretation of the passage. So remember the question I, I said to you, how you, and you get the main idea, right? So what is the passage about? We know the passage is about Usain Bolt. Now we are trying to determine what is the passage saying about Usain Bolt. And that's how you get the main idea. So we are, we are at, the writer's main idea is that, all right, nobody's talking. So if you- Sorry, is it that mm -hmm. it's the globe? Um, no. Sorry, it can be that the writer's main idea is that um, Dr. Usain Bolt um, um, highlight, highlighted his accomplishment. Um, sorry, give me a minute, I'll write it down. All right, so while we're doing that, what would you say is the purpose? What would be the purpose of this? What do you think is the writer's purpose? I don't know if you're going to be able to tell the purpose if you can't tell me an idea, but let's see. What would you say is the writer's purpose? Um, sir, it could be to um, highlight the um, achievements of Dr. Symbol in our check and field. All right, so to highlight the accomplishments, you said? Yes, sir. Of Dr. Usain Bolt, where? Um, in Czech Field. In Beijing. I think it's more about Beijing okay. because the, the because it says no Beijing bird nest could contain the flight of the pelican. In other words, this article is specific to Beijing, the Olympics 2015, right? Was the Olympics, did we have Olympics in 2015? No, was certain. Um, it's 12, 12. Hold on, I don't trust your word. Let me check. Olympics. Games. 20. Let me put a number. Sometimes it, Google will tell me if I put a number. 20, 20. Well, it's not going before. Oh, no, let me put a one. So it would have been 2012. Was there a 2014? No, sir. There was one more like 2016. So there's 2016, there's 2012? Yes, sir. Four years. 
Yeah, well, four years apart. I know it's every four years, but that's not what I'm checking for. One. All right. This would have been. All right. So this article was written when. 2015. The Olympics that it that came before 2015 would have been 2012. Am yes, I correct? Sir. Yes, sir. All right. Let's see something. Just for my own. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Well, you don't necessarily have to to, have to know the year though. So. Who was Beijing speaking? Beijing Olympics is saying 2008, sir. Beijing Olympics? When yes, was sir. Olympics held at Beijing? 2008, sir. So much right. Beijing Olympics 2008. Okay. Oh, no, I, I probably think that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know why they do that. Let me see. Was it his first time he was becoming this big star? Was it at the, at the Olympic platform? Right. Wasn't it? I think it was at the 2008 Olympics that he became very big, right? Yes, sir. All right. So person who was saying now to highlight the accomplishments of Dr. Usain Bolt. I am listening. So I'm not telling anybody any answer. I am listening. So everybody's going to talk today. Who was talking? You said the purpose is to highlight the accomplishments of Dr. Usain Bolt. And his achievement in the Beijing Olympics. And is, so how is achieve, accomplishments different from achievement? Isn't that just saying six of one, half a dozen of the other. All right, so everybody pause again. All right, so if you say that the author's purpose is to highlight, which is one part, what's the discourse mode? What would you say is the discourse mode? The dominant discourse mode. And we go silent again. Is it compare and contrast? Jesus Christ. Um, what, what are the four main types of discourse mode, people? I, I tell you, you need to watch the recordings, all right? What's the four main types of discourse mode, people? Expository, mm -hmm. descriptive, narrative, mm -hmm. and argumentative. Thank you. So what would you say is the dominant discourse mode? Expository. So it is expository. Everybody agrees or is there anyone? People talk. I am listening. This is how we, I'm slowly walking you through how you approach the paper in a very systematic way. Does everybody agree or is there anyone who thinks it is not exposition? So could it be descriptive? Um, where do you see description? And if you say description, what type would it be? Is it literal, scientific? Um, what type of description is it? Or what in it would make you think that it is descriptive? What would you cite as evidence of it being a description? We're silent again, so I'm listening. Sir, because he talk about um, himself, confidence, and him have a home being spirit and whatever. But is that descriptive, though? 
I am listening. All right, so I'll agree that there's some amount of description, but um, you can say, for example, that it's like a descriptive exposition. I, I kind of got a storytelling kind of thing. I was more leaning towards narrative exposition where there's a kind of, st the story of Bolt is being told. So there's a story. So Bolt's story is being told. Um, so it's more narrative exposition, but of course you still get the mark if you put exposition. And I would not just say highlight, but I would say celebrate. Don't you get that celebration in the article? You don't get that the author is celebrating. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because they're celebrating his achievements that he accomplished. Right, and that's more. It's more than, and and to me, this the purpose is more than highlight. It's really to us. It's really to us. It's really to celebrate the accomplishments of um, Dr. Usain Bolt, somebody who was born in Jamaica, um, is from the Caribbean, and has become this beacon on the world stage in athletics. And this is partly why, well, let me not comment on any other thing because uh, I don't want people to feed off my comment. I want to hear. Um, so it's more to celebrate and just to highlight the accomplishments of Dr. Usain Bolt on the world stage in athletics athletics having been born and trained in the caribbean of course the author is also using it as a way to to to, to well this is a kind of subliminal thing um the UA. In other words, the, the celebration of Usain Bolt is, is, is not just a Jamaican thing, it's a Caribbean thing. All right, so he becomes somewhat, well, as I said, let me not say anything, because once I talk, then you're going to feed off my comments. Okay, let's look. Um, so we said we discourse purpose to some extent, we're still struggling with main idea. Um, what else can we comment on? Let me open it this way. Uh -huh. Yes. I can ask you a question. Go ahead. Sir, in the third passage, where on the line when it said about. Why do you keep saying the, using the word passage? Sir, paragraph. Sorry. Sir, in the third paragraph where it stated, um, in the second sentence that our people have been through the artist fires of the hell, but like mm -hmm. the Jewish boys of biblical times were not burned ashes and rather are rising daily from them. Sorry, that will be the part where you do comparison. Well, but we don't reach any, how you reach there so yet. We need our topic sentence first. Okay. So are we commenting on language strategies first? Oh, oh, the other thing we haven't commented on, for whom was it written? Who would you say is the audience? Who would you say is the audience? For whom was this written? Um, the Caribbean. Or the All right. So people in the Caribbean, right? Or Caribbean people, right? Yes, sir. And I would agree because it's actually said, the UA across, coming across the region in our many diasporas beyond stood at the finishing line to welcome Dr. Bolt. So it is the Caribbean and it's diaspora. It's not just the Caribbean. Anybody knows what you mean by diaspora? Have you ever heard that word diaspora? No, sir. All right, so D-I-A-S-P-O-R-A. -A. Please Google it and tell me what it means, please. People of Caribbean descent. Um, so people of Right, so people of Caribbean descent who live overseas, like myself. All right, so it would be people, in the, people who are living in the Caribbean as well as the diaspora. Um, so we have audience, we normally in the introduction, what do we always put in the introduction again? So we put discourse mode, main idea, audience, purpose, and thesis, right? Yes, sir. Um, what would be our thesis again? Can you remind me how would we phrase our thesis? Sir, um, the writer speaks to R, you could have said 
language strategy and technique. What is the sentence? Thesis statement is a full sentence. So the writer speaks to these um are to the Caribbean through are these individuals through three main language techniques and three main language strategies. All right, so that's one way for we can phrase it. Anybody else wants to try? So we could say, for example, to celebrate the accomplishments of Dr. Usain Bolt, the writer uses three main language strategies and three language techniques. Okay? Yes, Hello? Sir. Right. Yes, sir. So which one are we talking about first? Are we, are we discussing strategy or, or are we discussing technique first? Sir, we can do the strategies. All right, so let's go to strategies. All right, can you tell me now what are the strategies used? Sir, on contrast. So we have contrast. Where do we see contrast? Sir, in the third paragraph that I was talking about. You have to explain the contrast to me. And what, what do we mean by contrast again? Compare and the difference. It means showing difference, right? Yes. All right. So what, what exactly is, is the writer showing difference between what and what? So remember, yeah, the writer must be showing difference between A and B or A's and B's. What difference is being shown in the third paragraph? When it speak about um the um the Jamaicans being um when it stated at his fires of the hill where it was speaking about the Jamaicans and it show a difference with the Jewish boys talking up referring to biblical example. So is that so is that is that a contrast or is that a comparison or is that allusion? So is, an illusion, sir. is it allusion? Yes, sir. Um, remind us what allusion means again. We are listening, people. Some persons are in the class and they are not participating. And when the class is finished, they want to harass me. It will not work. You better talk. Because I have a full week with UCJ visit. So please, this is your time to talk. What the? Sir, nonetheless, while the, um, this other student is thinking about that, what about a comparison between Dr. Usain Bolt, um, Thunderbolt, and Gatlin, Gatlin, Gatlin Gunn, sir? All right. So. The, is it compared? So the writer showing similarities between them or the writer showing differences between them? Differences, sir. So then don't say comparison. Because if you do that, right. I'm not going to give you the mark. Well, is that, is that different, sir? All right. So, so you're saying so it, that would be the contrast. Talk to me about the contrast. How would you go about explaining the contrast? Well, the contrast there was uh, when the, the writer was showing the difference between Dr. Usain Bolt's um, Thunderbolt, referring to his speed and all of that, and comparison and about Gatlin's Gatlin gun, referring to the, you know, the, the whole same speed, but of a lower caliber, sir. 
Okay, so we have Dr. So we have what you, you call it, Dr. Bolt, you said, and what? And Gatlin, sir. So Gatlin and Bolt, which one means Gatlin means to run? Gatlin, Gatlin was, is the name of the on. athlete, sir. Gatlin is the name of the athlete. I know that, but that's gun. not what you said before. People. All right. So Gatlin gun. Yes, sir. Right. it's in comparison to a gun. Right. So what you should really say then is that the writer, and this is actually more a technique than a strategy, the writer is using a metaphor, and this is how you could conflate the two. The writer is using the metaphor of um, the metaphor of a gun, Gatlin right. going, moving very fast, versus bolt or lightning bolt, because you know, of course, lightning moves much faster than a, than than gun. So the writer is using the metaphor to point. Oh, God. Why why am I hearing so much muffled noise in the background? Am I making sense now in terms of Gatlin gun and bolt? Clearly, clearly, sir. Right. So I would more say it's, I would go on the technique side of saying that the writer is using metaphor, um, comparing the, so first of all, the writer compares the speed of a gun to Gatlin and the speed of Usain um, Bolt to lightning speed and suggests and points out that you saying oh, sir, you said thunder, sir. Thunder. Well, it be thunder. Um, whatever, whatever the language is, we can still quote on the. We can still play on the word of bolt, because bolt also means to what? Run. Right. Yes, sir. Right. So you can explain. That's how you'd actually explain. Of course, if you said contrast and explain that way, we, I would still give you the mark. Okay, um, Roberto, you still get the mark. Sure. Yes. Yes. Sir, for the first one that I was talking about with um when I said contrast and he was asking if we would use illusion illusion. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, that would be used because it stated where you said illusion is like a biblical or a literary literal. reference. Yes, sir. Right. So how do you explain it though? So the writer uses illusion when he compares right, the so Go on, sir. When he compare, when he says the hottest fires of hell, but like remember, the Jews were also quote unquote crucified. Yes, sir. Right. So the, the Jews were also kind of crucified. So he compares the suffering and the hardships faced by biblical Jews, quote unquote, to the hardships faced by people in the Caribbean, not just Usain Bolt, you know, but Usain Bolt's ancestors. Okay, sir. All right, so he says, an ending wherever Dr. Bolt has touched, which is ancestral magic and gift of God. So ancestral magic, again, that is kind of metaphorical. Um, now knows the truth that our people have been, and even the use of the our, what we call the personal pronoun, is a technique. The personal pronoun of the our, I think it's not just our alone that was used, our... So there's a, there's, there's a way of how the author identifies Usain Bolt as a, 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 as a Caribbean man, as a Jamaican, and how he sees him, and how he himself identifies with him, because he's also from the Caribbean. And this is why there is this notion of the I and the hour. Do we see when he says, when I visited, and this is why I keep saying narration, right? Because here the writer is kind of doing what? Giving anecdotes. Do you see that when he says, when I visited him at the Sir Frank Rowell playing field at Mona a few months ago? Isn't that storytelling? It's like yes, anecdote. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. All right. Um, is, are there any other strategies that you can think of or, or are you seeing in the passage? Sir, you see in the first paragraph, sir, where mm -hmm. they speak about um the refer compare um 
you sent Maul to a pelican, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Talk to me about it. When he says no Beijing bird nest would contain the flight of the pelican. Pelican, sir. All right. Yeah, listen. Sir, um, uh, sir, I'm just saying. Sir, the part, um, the part three, four, five. Sir, the paragraph that you just read mm -hmm. about it when I visited visited him, mm -hmm. sir, in the second line where it stated that it became clear to me that here within our university, art was a hero who believed in the indigenous power of our academy. Sir, um, sir, I would say that it would be like an imperative language technique where it, um, it grabbed the attention of Sir, um, Barack Obama down the line. Um, I wouldn't go that far. I think that's a stretch. Okay, sir. What What I think you could say here is that the writer is somewhat hinting that the ancestral spirits, their sufferings, their their strengths, their blood, everything is uh, is manifested in Usain Bolt and contributes to his unmatched um, athletic skills. He, in other words, he's, he's kind of, the writer puts him on a kind of pedestal, a kind of pedestal. I don't know if you see when you're using words like hero, so the diction becomes, um, it's both, there's a kind of connection between the past and the present. The writer may, uses words like hero, indigenous, those words are historic majestic, monumental, these kinds of elevated words suggesting that there is a relationship between the past and the present in the manifestation of Usain Bolt. Well, I might be going a little bit far, but those words suggest that. Okay, so, so, so is it that it will be on the, so will it be on the line of imper imperative? What do you mean by imperative? Sir, because you said a command word used to grab attention and the words that they use in the in the paragraph. Just ask um, I, I suppose so. Um you'd have to I don't know if I would give you the mark. I guess I would have to look at your explanation and see if it if, if it's if it's very thorough. Um I would if you were going to write that, then I would have to add in that big up bolt as a part of that. Gatling gun, those words are attention grabbing words. Okay, sir. Yeah. So I would not leave and Mount Olympus, those kinds of words grab the attention of the um the reader. All right, let's go to strategies. Are there any strategies? I think we mentioned one or two or so. Talk to me about strategies. No, not strategies, techniques rather, because we were just talking about strategies, techniques. What could you comment on? Or what would you comment on? So the techniques will become with like metaphor repetition. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Okay. Yes, um the, the line that says I found it, I found in, in, in my spirit humble yet um Majestic, sir. Mm -hmm. What about it? That that is is humble. It's, it's like a, it's like contradicting. So it's like humility versus majesty. So there's a contrast. There. So I could I could mention that there. But contrast, be. but contrast is more a strategy than a technique.
Sir, so, sir, 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 so, um, what you said earlier on would be in this um case when I was talking about the imperative, which is a language technique. Right, that's where it should come. Yeah, this is where it should and... come. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. That's this is where it should come. But remember, we spoke about the metaphor too. Yes, we spoke sir. about metaphor. We did talk about metaphor as well. Um, we talked. We spoke about allusion. So we said metaphor. Allusion. And imperative. Why well, you're living with that imperative, you know? <laughs> you're not leaving that imperative at all. And even for the metaphor, there are several metaphors actually, because the writer says that Usain Bolt is a Beijing bird. Or no, the writer says that Usain Bolt um, compares his athletic skills to the flight of a pet. Anybody knows anything about a pelican? The bird that is a, it's really the, the symbolic bird for Yui. Does anybody know anything about a pelican? Yes, sir. That bird fishes um, by, you know, flying above the water and diving to catch the fish. Right. Very skillful, very tactical. Yes, right? sir. Um, question though, while we were examining that um, sentence for the metaphors, what about um, pun where, you know, the, the writer had a play on word there, a short play on words? Where? If, if I might say that, you know, when he even when he would have um talked about the the the, the 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 lightning bolt of um Dr. Justin Bolt, given that his name is Lightning Bolt, um, um Bolt, and he would have compared it to like yes, that's fun. play on word as fun for yeah, fun. that's fun. Yeah, man, you yes, could sir. comment on that. Anyway. Oh. Mm -hmm. So what about the um the paragraph where it said I commented in Mr. Third, the ending point that say with these words my cup run it over which would, would it be a hyperbole in yeah, the... it could be hyperbole or even illusion um a kind of biblical reference you know when it says um and you're thinking you're you're, you're actually a very good thinker um this is the which line is it again sir um let me tell you one two three four five six sir the seven paragraph where it said i commended him for no right right me. right Sir, the last part that says with these words my cut my cup run it over yes, yes so it, this is um it, it, i would give you the mark if you say exaggeration or hyperbole or overstatement or i would give you the mark as well if you say allusion it's kind of a biblical reference um when it says my cup what does the whole notion of my cup run it over means so like you have a lot of things so um you know, a lot of pride yes sir it overflow you like can't control it or in a sense like that Right, yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, sir, in, the same, in the same line there, we say um the Mona Bowl contains all you say needed. Mm -hmm. What about it? I think that could be a, a metaphor for the uh, the Mona Bowl. Is but you know, you're not getting marks if if you if you say if you if you mention say that the writer uses a metaphor, X and Y I quote two metaphors, you're not getting an additional mark for mentioning another metaphor because it's still the same technique. You need a different one. So you have to go now to pun, um, allusion, or whatever, and exaggeration. So you can't just mention metaphor and think you're going to get an additional mark. A metaphor is a metaphor, but you have to mention other things. Remember, you can mention stat, you can mention diction, you can mention register, you can mention all of that. So the register in this case is, is very informal. All right? The register is very informal. And it's informal because the writer has great affection for and wants to use the piece to celebrate the success or successes of Usain Bolt, not only at the Olympics, but just as a, as a um, but globally. So it allows him or her to kind of celebrate Usain Bolt in that fashion. So there are other things. So it's not just the metaphor and the simile and all of that. Remember when we spoke about um, style we spoke about a number of things that you can comment on on the style and all of that i'll accept on the um technique you heard that a six-year-old girl was killed in a in an accidental shooting oh my god jamaica oh lord and then a woman was stabbed to death following dispute over shared partner yes sir it happened friday oh lord jamaica is Jamaica always a keeper, as people would say. All right, so I think we can. Yes, somebody has a comment or a question. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. 
um a couple of minutes ago you were you were talking about ancestral spirit and then you were saying that you're going too far. I think you know maybe you're going a little bit too deep. So I want to know now because I think I made I made a mistake. So how do I know now if I'm reading too much into it? So when do I know some guidelines as to that? Because there was something completely different. No, the problem with, with what you did is that you didn't understand the passage. That's the challenge. If you don't understand the palace passage, then your interpretation is going to be off. So that's why I said the first thing you do when you read the passage, the first question you ask yourself, what is the passage about? And we could say that the passage is about Usain Bolt. Then the next question I ask you, what is the passage saying about Usain Bolt? So the writer's main idea is that Usain Bolt, a man from the Caribbean, has risen to successes in athletics on the world stage and that he's proud, all right? Then you say, no, what is the writer's purpose? The writer's purpose is to celebrate the successes and accomplishments of Usain Bolt uh, on the world stage, especially coming from a, 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 um, a region that has been oppressed for centuries. The writer directs, um, the, writer, write, um, the writer purposefully directs the piece at Caribbean people and people of Caribbean diaspora telling them or pointing out that, for example, pointing out that our, our historical past of, of oppression is not, let us say, it's not something that can hold us back because you saying Bolt is the quintessential person, da, 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 da. Then you say in your topic sentence, the, um, in the first instance, the writer uses three main language strategies. The writer uses contrast to point out the speed of one of the world's most celebrated uh, um, um, runners, Gathlin, to the speed of Usain Bolt. The contrast is actually, encap well, is actually encapsulated in the metaphor, in the metaphorical um, phrases, Gatlin gone, and I think, what was the phrase for Usain? Something or another Usain Bolt or lightning or thunderbolt lightning or something, bolt. Thunderbolt. lightning bolt. This metaphor is important, or this metaphor um, helps the writer um, achieve his purpose of celebrating because it points out that US, the United States is no longer the key player or the dominant player on the world stage in athletics. Something, something like that. Additionally, the writer uses, we said contrast, what was the other one? Additionally, what was the other? Um, the writer uses, I'm going to, I think it was comparison or illusion. Illusion. So I, let me use the other one. So additionally, the writer uses narration as a strategy in that the writer uses the first person persona or the first person point of view to, to allow him to not only celebrate, but to not only celebrate, but also to, um, how would you phrase it now? Not only celebrate, but also to align himself or see the success of Usain Bolt as something that is historical or something, something like that. For example, the writer uses the personal pronouns I for in the in paragraph, let's say 10, when he says, quote, I commended him for knowing, as well as in the other line or in the phrase, across our UE, across our UE, all right? Um, so I said that, allusion. Finally, the writer uses allusion in, in two instances. In the first instance, the writer, where was the allusion again? Makes oh, reference of the this, Jewish, the right, Jewish. makes reference of, this, of the oppression of the, Jewish, um, of the Jewish boys of biblical times, suggesting, um, make, made um, reference to the sufferings of the Jewish boys and the who, in the Caribbean. who survived. This allusion makes reference to the fact that the Caribbean itself has also faced oppression, but has managed to 
um, has managed to, to be successful. And this success or these successes are captured or encapsulated or epitomized in the athletic prowess of Dr. Usain Bolt. I think I've mentioned, so I've done, I've done all of the strategies, right? Yes, sir. In the second instance, the writer uses three main language techniques. For example, the writer playfully mocks the athletic prowess of Gatlin, I think his name is Gatlin, who was once considered or who was once the fastest man in the world. The writer captures this in the phrase, Gatlin gone. The writer poke, continues to poke fun by mentioning Usain Bolt or Thunderbolt, punning on the word Bolt, such as lightning speed or thunder, which are much faster or move much faster than the than a gun, that than, than a gunshot, something like that, something like that. You know, I'm kind of making it up. Additionally, the writer uses several metaphors. For example, the writer says that Usain Bolt is a pelican. A pelican is a type of bird that flies above and is very tactical, strategic in its quest. This is also exemplified in the speed of Usain Bolt something, something like that. Another instance of metaphor, where was the other metaphor again, people? I don't remember. Where was the other instance of metaphor? Oh Lord, I can't remember. All right, you guys will find that out. So da, 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 da. The writer also uses um, exaggeration. This is where, um, exaggeration when he mentions in his biblical illusion, my cup runneth over. This exaggeration slash illusion speaks to how proud he feels and how proud he thinks the um, other people in the Caribbean feel about the successes of Usain Bolt. Additionally, oh, you know what else we could have commented on for techniques, short sentences, short paragraphs and short sentences. Do we see that people? Sentences are very short. The paragraphs are very short. Some of the sentences are like two words. So for example, he says, maybe. So the, these are for dramatic effect. In conclusion, the writer, through narrative exposition, celebrates not only highlights, but also celebrates the accomplishments of Usain Bolt on the world stage as being the fastest man in the world. This is achieved through three main language strategies and three main techniques, something like that. And that's your essay. You have to rewatch this recording because I kind of, I was making it up as I go along. Having, do we have a better idea now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what we have to do is to first have a little plan. Don't just quickly start writing the essay. So, okay, you write on one side, you just write strategies and you, you highlight your three strategies and then you put the little, it's okay, I'm gonna talk about contrast, da, 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 da. and then you have another part of your rough paper. You have techniques, 
you have your technique in technique or you need an example so i'm saying okay i think the writer uses elevated diction da, 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 da. oh yes i could have commented too on the fact that another technique used by the, the by the writer is diction in many instances in the passage the writer makes mention um uses descriptive words that are historical in nature for example african amiability caribbean culture um and some of the other ones you know them revolutionary and all those kind of words even the mention of when he says when i visited him at the sir frank warrell playing field at ue sir frank warrell is what would be seen as a kind of is a celebrated sports figure in the Caribbean, most of you don't know him. I don't know him either, but I, I think I've read about him when I was doing my master's. All right, enough of this passage. I think I've had enough. I think I have a little more understanding. That's good to hear, Shanet Bailey. Uh, yes. Sir, someone does say, I was saying to you um, earlier on about um, understand. Sir, so understanding by finding this stuff, them like how, like it was going through them and I could find them and all that. But sir, I'm just having an issue just to put it together. That's just. My own so I gave it a frame. So what you do, you have your introduction. Remember how I structure my introduction? Yes, sir. Main idea, purpose, thesis, then you move on. Then your first topic sentence, you're either, either going to comment on strategy or you're going to comment on technique. Then you have the second topic sentence and you have your conclusion. The only part you might have a challenge is, when, is in the analysis. But you see the introduction, the topic sentences, that part should be enough to save you in terms of organization. Okay, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Sir. Yes. For the, how long is it we, um, we get to write the, the essay? You know, you're asking me the same question and I'm going answer over and over. You're still sorry, asking me the same, same question. Sir, I didn't hear the answer to that question, sir. One hour for the umpteen time. I can't add 15 much more minutes, sir. No, please. no. You actually, it, this paper is actually done in 45 minutes. This is a paper that is actually supposed to be done in 45 minutes. Your college students, your university students. Sir, we can ask a question. Mm -hmm. Sir, regarding this article, sir, is it that um tone can be used? Yeah, tone comes on the technique. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Tone, mood, diction, any of those things come on the technique. Remember, strategy is how the passage is organized. Yes, sir. All right, so we want to look at the other passage now. Should we look at the other passage? No, Shannon, Billy, I can't. You go, you're going to watch the, the recording. I, I realize that some of you are actually writing every word I say. Yes, sir. No, you can't write every word I say because you don't know what you're going to get in the exam. No, sir, sir I'm going to say yes to that and say yes to the looking at the next passage. Well, the walk with is just the informal, it really speaks to the informal register. Okay. In other words, it's, the tone is very conversational. It's a very conversational tone. Okay, sir. Because the style is very narrative. And you find that narrations oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes are very conversational. You know, like you're talking to your friend, you know, I see, I, you know, I like Usain Bolt. He's very good at what he does. Da, da, da. It's kind of that kind of thing. Um, I think the second passage I gave you um is a different one did anybody attempt that one i think it's a martin henry article all right so let i'm going to share it in the whatsapp group it was shared in the uh document all right so i want you to read and you're going to tell me i want you to write down the main i i want discourse main idea and purpose and audience nothing else main idea discourse purpose and audience sir mm -hmm. when is the exam again sir wednesday
finish reading. Are you seeing it in the in the in the in the WhatsApp group, people? Yes, sir, it's there. Okay, okay.
All right, so can we, can we, um, what would you say is, what is the article about? Let's start there. What is the article about? Are you guys hearing me? Hello? Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. I'm yes, sir. We're so hearing you. So nobody now talk to me. I feel so lonely. Yes, what is the article about? All right, there is silence. So I assume you are still reading then. Let me make that assumption. Resumption for school, September morning. Okay, what is it saying about the resumption of school for September morning? So it's basically telling you that students performing below um, the average. Okay, all right. What would you say is the writer's purpose? All right. Sir? I am listening. In the writer's purpose is to convey the cause of the failing education system. Okay. So the purpose is twofold. What does the writer hope to accomplish? We are silent. And we are silent. I don't Sir, know. we are real. But All right. bright like in. <laughs> okay, let me allow you to read. All right, everybody's reading, so let me allow you guys to read. That's what I'm told. So, yes, I wait on you. When you're ready to talk, you will talk. So, can I try? 
Go ahead. All right. So the the writer's purpose is to highlight the performance of students who passes maths and English at fifth form. Um, I think it's much bigger than that. Okay. Sir? Yes? The exam will be during class time. Jesus Christ. Are you just joining the class? Hello, are you just joining the class? No, sir. I would, but I've answered that question so many times. Not just this uh, class, but I in the class. No, sir, maybe I was out of the class. Was... Is this your first class? Because I said it in previous classes as well. Were you at the last class? Sir, sometimes I log on late, so maybe you said it. Okay, well, now we see. Yes, it will be during class time. Okay. Any other questions before we go? Sir, before you go, you can um tell us like the main the, the question that you asked us, please. Can you tell me the question that I asked you? No, That's, sir. sir don't well, you know. there are seventeen other persons who can tell can talk. Okay. So I'm listening to the other persons. What was the question? What is writer's main idea? I think that's what she wants to know. What would you say is the discourse mode? Let me see if you're thinking. What's the discourse mode in this one? What's the dominant discourse mode? Is it argument? Um, what in it would um, cause you to think that it is argumentative? An expository. This cannot be exposition. I know we should perform. This is not exposition. This is a, um, yeah, man, an argumentative. Well, Why? Right. So what in it tells you that it is argumentative? Sir, um, mm -hmm. must say, all right, for me, it may say more than one, um, something where the right I can use for argument. Like, it's like in basically I say, the teacher them, I you should the teacher they need to be upskilled as in in mentions that them under what well, you could have that could have been said in an expository piece. Okay. That could have been said in an expository piece. So what else do you think you could use to, to say that this is persuasive or argumentative in nature? Um the learning, the learning hours. That can't be something that can't be, you have to talk about either a technique or a strategy. Right, you see in the one, two, three, four, fifth um, paragraph survey, they said, mm -hmm. the vast majority of secondary school leavers are completely unfit. Mm -hmm. Ready. Um, what about that line? Sir, would that be an argumentative um, statement? Yes, sir. Right. So what you so what you're hinting at is correct. Is the diction so unfit? Look at some of the terms. September September morning is here again, and they are back to school. Not only to books, but to resume gangsterism, sexual activity, Lego bees. Those are not words that you would find in an in a, in, a, in an exposition. So, so it's the, like it's up for debate, like what he's yes, saying. Yes, 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 he is debating and saying really that the school system is failing, um, failing um, the students. Right. So if you look at the 
if you look, look at even the title, Education, Grand Waste of Time and Money. So the title itself is actually asking a question which the passage is supposed to answer. The passage itself is supposed to answer that question. And notice the writer actually thinks and agrees. I'm not sure if you remember when the, the, the comment was made about describing some, I think schools or principals or something like that as Lego beasts. And everybody loved it. They took not use that word and, and everybody got upset. And the writer is to some extent agreeing with the description using that term Lego beast. It's kind of a metaphor using that agreeing with the term Lego beast, which means uncontrolled, um, uncontrollable behavior um, by someone. All right. All the best on Wednesday, people. I think you will do very well. I wouldn't be so worried if I were you. That's very sarcastic. No, it's not well, sarcastic. Thanks, I, I, I'm sir. not sarcastic at all. I, I'm sure there are persons here who are great thinkers. I hear that you're thinking, and I'm sure the passage I'm going to give you will not be difficult, at least not as far as I know. And as I said before, you plan before you write. That's what you need to do. Plan before. Don't just start writing. Plan okay. before. So you have your introduction. You say, okay, what's the discourse mode? What's the purpose? What's the this? Then you have your strategy. You write down your, jot down your three strategies that you intend to write about. Then you jot down your three um techniques Technique. and you plan your essay so you plan it before you actually write so that when you actually start writing it will become very easy it's easier to the flow will be much better for you as opposed to you're looking at it then you write a sentence and you look at it again then you write another sentence and you look at it again then you write another sentence all right all right yes, sure. in okay. in a five minutes. but anyway thank you sir. in one hour oh, one thing before you go all right, thank no, you. No, no, I always said it was one hour. I thought you said 45 minutes. I said it's supposed to be done yeah, in 45 one minutes, hour. but I'm giving you one hour. One hour. That's what I said. Thank yes, you, uh, I think Jerome is trying to get a word in. Is it Jerome? No. No, it wasn't Jerome, it was Roberto. But Roberto, it's, it's, yes. I think um, you would have given us the essay outline or breakdown already, I think. So I'm just going to look back for it. Didn't I give you the essay outline already? Many times, years and yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, no, that, no, that may I tell you, no, sir. No, no, no. Right. Come on, you're asking the question in a different way. You're going like, yes, man, but without that yet. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I you, think I born, you think I born yesterday. All right, guys. So I'll see you on Wednesday. I must go. I have another class. That okay, I'm two nice minutes late. Sorry, sir. Thanks. Yeah, man, much. All right, cool. And if you want to practice, you can write something and send to me, and I'll look at it, Okay. I'll okay. do my best to look at it. Okay, sure. Okay, All right. Sure. Bye.